In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through this same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Worthy is Christ the Lamb who was slain, whose blood set us free to be people of God. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Power, riches, wisdom, and strength, and honor, blessing, and glory are His. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You purchased for us the reward of eternal life by your blood. Christ, have mercy. You feed us at Holy Mass with your most sacred body and blood. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gloria in Ancelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus, bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, Adoramus te, glorificamus te, grazie agimus tibi, propter magnam gloriam tuam, Domine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, Domine fili unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccata mundi, Suce pede precationem nostram, cui seres ad exteram patris, miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus santus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesu Christe, 
cum sancto spiritu, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Let us pray, O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. The kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put your, our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they laid him. So she said to, so when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but she did not know it was Jesus. 
Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then re reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, happy Easter, everybody. We continue our Easter celebration, as Father Adam said yesterday. Uh, the, this is such a joyous time that we have the season of Easter for 50 days. And in particular, we have the octave of Easter. Um, and so hence the incense and the chanting and the gloria, um, which we continue to do every day throughout the Easter octave. And so it's a joyous time for us. And we were reminded in our gospel today, um, Father Adam just left the church building and I don't know where he is going. Um, maybe he doesn't want to hear me preach again. I don't know. <laughs> anyway... Um, <laughs> Sometimes he does that. He just like disappears and then he comes back like a weird time. Anyway, okay. But today we have like this beautiful, like Jesus is reminding us that we should not be weeping. Jesus rose from the dead. And we continue this Paschal celebration. We continue this celebration, this feast of victory. Like we sang in our opening hymn at Holy Mass today. This is the feast of victory at Holy Mass. We celebrate that Jesus Christ is risen, risen indeed. And that he takes up his residence in you and me. And that we have no need to be weeping. Jesus says it three or four, two or three times in our gospel. Why are you weeping? And, we, you know, there's a lot of stuff if we think about it in our life long enough. Could make us weep tears that aren't happy tears. But you know what? We got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of blessings. And every single one of them is evidence of the risen Christ. Because Jesus is the source of all that is good. He gives everything to us in abundance. Grace is overflowing. Blessings overflowing. And he is risen. He is risen indeed. He's living. He is living indeed. And he loves us deeply. We have no need to weep. And uh, a lot of people can be rather negative sometimes. You know, uh, but focus on the blessing. Focus on the blessing because the blessing is from the resurrection. And so that's one of my little thoughts today. Another thought that I have is, you know, nothing happens by accident. And it's no accident that Mary confuses Jesus as the gardener. Remember the very first, uh, our parents in paradise, Adam and Eve, uh, God gave them a garden to take care of and they blew it. <laughs> and uh, God gives us all a little corner of the garden, and uh, our job is not to blow it. Jesus is the, the gardener, perf the perfect gardener, the one who does the work God the Father entrusts to us perfectly, and the one who bears fruit and makes beauty of the whole vineyard that is the earth. And so we get to cooperate in that which is a true blessing. I'm happy to report that Father Adam has now returned to the church. And um, uh, anyway, okay, so <laughs> I told him that maybe you didn't want to hear me preach again. <laughs> and then you just left the building. Okay, my third thought, my third thought for today is this. Jesus says, do not cling to me. In Latin, it's much prettier. No le me tangere which is to say, do not cling to me. And sometimes we can cling to normalcy, we can cling to life as we know it, and we don't want anything to change. But Jesus and the resurrection brings change. There has to be change. Some of us, and, and Cardinal Newman said that change is the evidence of life. He says it's the only evidence of life. And if we're not changing, 
and growing, changing positive ways, then we're not alive in Christ. And so, Jesus, we can't cling to what we always know. We can't cling to what we just is normal. Jesus shakes it up a little bit with the resurrection. And that's okay. That's a piece of life. And, um, and so Jesus says, don't cling to that. And don't cling to like, we all have our, probably our favorite images of Jesus. Uh, probably the most common one is the good shepherd. Um, a lot of people love that one. I do too. It's pro- it is one of my favorites. But, but maybe, maybe it's good for us sometimes to shake it up a little bit. And, and maybe some people, their favorite image of Jesus is bloody on the cross. I've seen some really bloody crucifixes, and they shake me a little bit. You know, and then I think, well, maybe I do need to spend a little time with that. Some people probably could use some time away from that and on the Good Shepherd. We don't cling to one image of our Lord, one piece of the Lord, because the beauty of Jesus is there's always more. And, and we can't just like cling to this like one little understanding of him when he is so much bigger than that. And so those are my three thoughts for the day. Let us thank our good Lord and ask his blessing upon us as we continue to celebrate the Easter resurrection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bring our prayers to the good Lord. We do pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for his intention, safety, and health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for President Trump and all the governors and presidents of places around the world that they might always enact and protect good laws that afford life, peace, and dignity to everybody, especially during these very difficult moments in the history of this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all doctors, nurses, all medical professionals, that God will sustain them and protect them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for more holy, good priests to serve this church uh, that we beautifully call the Catholic Church. And we pray especially that God might raise up vocations from our own parishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Father Bill Munchauer, who died um, early this morning. And we pray for Father Peter Gallagher's mother, a member of our own parish here, uh, Libby Gallagher, who died yesterday unexpectedly. Uh, We keep all of these folks in our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an Easter spirit within each and every one of us that we may never weep. Uh, tears of sadness because we know that Jesus wins with his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are hungry and homeless. We pray for those suffering in any way. And we do pray in a very special way for the folks in Africa who are dealing with the latest uh, locust invasion and all those type of terrible plagues. It's absolutely horrible. And so we pray for for relief for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Pray for an end to the COVID-19 virus that some scientist somewhere will come up with a cure ASAP and that that cure will be widely available quickly to us all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the intentions in our hearts, for all who have gone before us in faith. In a special way in this Mass, we remember our intention, Angie Davies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we place these and all the prayers of Holy Mother Church before you. In your mercy and love, we ask you to answer every one of our prayers, even the prayers we don't even know we have. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. 
humble spirit and contrite heart that we accept the very sacrifice you this day, please. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly and the same spirit graciously make only these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of. Mysterium Fidei, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O, <clears throat> o God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ give me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Precious Jesus, although I am not able to receive you sacramentally in the most holy Eucharist at this Mass, I beg thee to bestow upon me your abundant blessings. Fill me up so that I am overflowing. This I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pass our lips as food, O Lord. May we possess some purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple, two little Easter miracles for you uh, related to my dog. Number one is that it was a year ago today that uh, she ran away and was missing for a couple hours. I can't believe it was a whole year ago. And Rebecca's daughter's boyfriend happened to find her um, at about 11.30 or so at night. And uh, by some grace of God, some crazy miracle, that was a year ago today. Anyway, today, Mr. Crop, Billy and I were out uh, visiting our kids and uh, taking Easter candy to them. And I'll be darned if we were in this one neighborhood and we went to this this one house and right next door was a dog that looked exactly like Glory. And all, it was one of her sisters. Could you imagine? And so just happened to be out with her, her owner uh, to go to the bathroom, happened to live right next door from one of our parishioners and right across the street from another one of our parishioners. So Glory got to spend some time uh, with her sister today. It was a great grace from the good Lord. It is an Easter miracle. And so anyway, God bless you. You probably can hear her. I don't know if you can, but she's always barking outside during Mass. Okay. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to you. Oh, uh, alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to.